Concatenation in Excel helps us join data together. So maybe we have a first name, a last name, but maybe we want those together in the same column. So the way to do this is to type out equals concat. And now when you do that, you're going to see two options appear for you, concat and concatenate. You want to use concat. That's the future formula, what they're going to be using going forward. Concatenate is probably going to be eventually phased out. And so I type concat, I open this up, and I'm going to select the first name, and then use a comma, select the last name here, and then I'll close this. It's not going to look exactly like we want yet, but that's okay. If I hit enter, I see that the data got joined together, but I actually want a space in between the first name and the last name. So the way that I can fix this is go back to the formula and right in the middle, add another comma. And then in between these two commas, add quotations, but put a space in between them. So what we're saying is take the first name, add a space, and then put the last name, and then you're good. So I'll hit enter, and now that's what we're looking for. We've joined the first and last name together. Now, instead of manually typing or retyping this formula in every row, what I can do is click on this cell that I just entered the formula into, and then scroll over to the bottom right corner, and I should see this symbol appear. If I double click on that, it's going to autofill the rest of the information for me. Now you might be thinking, okay, so now that I have the full name, let me go ahead and just delete the first two columns. If you do that right now, you're going to get a cell reference error because there's still formulas in this full name and it's trying to reference cells that are no longer there. So to fix that, what you can do is let's in this example, click on C to select the entire column. And then I'll use control C or command C to copy it. And then I want to paste these in just as values without the formula. And so the way that I would do that is go to this paste button and I want this drop down here and I'm going to choose under paste values, the first option available to me. So what's going to happen now, if you double click on one of these cells, the formula is no longer there. It's just the name. So now if I delete the first two columns, I should be good to go. I no longer see that error. So that's how you join data together or concatenate it in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want the link to the sample file used in this video, it's down in the description, as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested.